Let's catch up with one of the best recording artists in this country. So how do I say goodbye? Oh, Joe, if you don't mind, just another Dean Lewis song that's reached a billion global streams. I said a billion. Did you say a billion? I said a billion. Oh, my giddy aunt. Yes, how do I say goodbye? And nominated for Aria Best Single of the Year as well, if you don't mind. Um, and what about this? We're joined by the great man right now, Dean Lewis, right in the guts <laughs> of the tour. 24 dates in the US right now. The future is bright. Global Tour, he joins us. G'day, Dean. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me. How you doing? Oh, no worries. You know you're doing an Australian interview when someone says right in the guts of a tour. <laughs> oh, I know. And I've been over here for a long time, and you guys sound so Australian right now. It's kind of, kind of refreshing, actually. How's it all going? I was listening to a um, podcast the other day, Dean, with Missy Higgins, who was saying that at the height of her fame, she did a US tour, but she really struggled with it. She made it on one hand, but on the other hand, just felt really lonely and isolated. How are you finding the touring experience? Oh, that's really cool. Um, yeah, it is. I mean, I've got a really good band with me and we're friends and I have my brother on the road, but it definitely is. It's a weird thing. I mean, this is my like sixth American tour. You know, I've done so many of them now. Um, like, I think I'm just appreciative that we're selling tickets and selling places out this yeah. time around. Um, but it, it does get a bit lonely and it is, it can be a bit exhausting because you're doing, you know, three shows back to back and then you have a day off. It's really a travel day. And I know that's, uh, don't want to sound like I'm unappreciative, but you, you know, you, you're doing an hour and a half performing every night. And the one weird thing is that uh, you sort of spend the whole day waiting for the this thing to come. Dean, there's a lot of doom and gloom on the internet, but I clicked on your Instagram and I'm stalking you now and I've chucked you a follow, so don't stress about that. But there was a beautiful <laughs> post with you and your 96-year-old nan and you're walking through her house and Hazy, he says, this is the spare room that I stayed when I had nothing and I had nowhere else to go and nan took me in. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, I nearly teared up about that, Dean. Yeah. That was just so gorgeous. Your nan looks adorable. Oh, she's looking great and um, she's just the best. Yeah, it was a weird time in my life. Like, I think it was... It's about eight years ago and I was on the edge of like, I felt like all these great opportunities had passed me by and I felt like I was on the edge of like, you know, failing in my life. And then I had, I think I had 10 grand and I moved in with my nan to save money. I left my apartment, I quit my job and I'm like, I'm going to give this thing a crack. But I found out now, my nan told me when I was over there a month ago, she said that she was calling my auntie because I was in there writing these songs in this little spare room. Yep. And she thought I kind of sucked, but she didn't want to tell me. Because, <laughs> you know, when you're writing songs, you kind of, it, it's kind of awful. And my auntie told me that she'd call me and go, oh, these songs that kind of sound awful, but I, I don't want to tell him, you know, because it did, when you write songs, it does kind of sound awful. And, um, and then it all happened, but she was always very supportive of me and she so never sweet. told me that it sounded awful. She said it sounded great. Yeah. And she was there for me at a really important time. Nan's the best. Nolene. Mate, uh, oh, big shout out to Nolene. Big shout out to oh, Nolene. How absolutely gorgeous. Uh, mate, uh, we're about to play your brand new single, Trust Me Mate, off the upcoming third album. Can you take us through it um, from your words? Because this has got a really, really strong message. Yeah. So basically, you know, I had a big hit song four, four or five years ago called Be All Right. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, man, my life's changed. You know, then COVID hit after I toured the world and then I came back and nothing was really working. None of the songs were connecting. And I'm like, oh, did I, I genuinely was like, I missed my moment. Like it's done, you know, and I thought it was all over. And then I had, how do I say goodbye? Come out a year ago. All of a sudden, wow, the shows are selling out again and I'm back. And I think it was a real weird period of my life, you know, up and downs of where am I in my life and a lot of lessons. And I, I think I, I had really good friends around me at that time and good support system. And it was kind of about telling myself, uh, you know, that you've got this and, and having friends that would kind of support you in those times. So I kind of wrote it about that and also about me helping some of my friends in my life kind of combined all the stories into one. And uh, so that's what it's about. Just quickly on that as well. I mean, I, I listened to it and straight away I got a connection um, if it's through mates and mental health and all sorts of things because us blokes in particular, we ain't very good sometimes at chatting and talking about our feelings. Oh, 100%. 100%. Yeah. And for me, it's been like, you know, yeah, I've kind of worked through stuff on my own, but having those people to kind of like be able to call up my best mate or one of my brothers and just be like, how would you work through this situation? Or this is how it feels for me. What's your perspective on it? And just getting a bit of a different perspective really helped me go, oh no, the, the, gla the glass is half full, not half empty sometimes. And having those people, just, it gives you a little pep up, you know what I mean? And um, I've always been quite good at that, telling my close friends how I feel. And it's definitely helped me in my life um, for sure.
Um, and, and having talking to your mates is the best because they give the best advice, you know what I mean? Yeah, they do. Uh, mates, we appreciate your time. Have fun for the rest of the tour and congratulations with the new single. It's yeah. absolutely amazing. And people might know you as Dean Lewis. From now on, you will forever be Nolene's grandson yeah. in our eyes. Oh, 100%. I love it. No, <laughs> give a shout out to Nolene. Thanks for the chat, guys. Really good, really good questions. I appreciate it.